Uh, here we are on this Wednesday afternoon to go to a talk about reincarnation and life in general, I guess. Uh, my buddy Professor Gary Bitter at ASU, who teaches math here, always gets me to go into these things. I figure if I'm going to be going to these things, I'm going to record them. So we're out here in the middle of the campus, just off Apache Boulevard, and spin around here and show this little tree-lined area here on the campus. And a few minutes, we'll go in and sit down and see what these folks got to say. Nice little area, cool on this summer day on the March 31st of the month. Oops, back around here, pan around where I'm standing in front of the building here. And back up around. And of course, ASU is famous for uh, partying and all that, but uh, down near everything that goes into space has ASU parts somewhere on it. We'll just pan up the top of this building. And we'll go inside and see what these folks have to say. Enjoy. Thank you, Philip. Thanks for touching the leg of the Tibetan greeting. For many of you, maybe uh, don't understand. Uh, like in every culture, uh, we have a, a different way of greeting. Uh, you know, like in America. They say hello. How are you? And Hawaii, they say aloha, right? In India, they say namaste. And I don't know. Uh, in Japan, they say konnichiwa. For the bad, uh, we say tashi de lek. And uh, uh, if you are uh, new to uh, the Tibetan uh, culture, actually, uh, I want to share a little meaning. I always like to share this because uh, when you are learning about uh, another culture, uh, always you uh, learn first uh, the greeting. And, uh, and it has a very beautiful meaning behind that. Uh, tashi actually means the auspiciousness. Uh, te means the happiness. And uh, lek means the excellence or perfection. So uh, anyway, what does that mean? The meaning of uh, this Greeting means may you be auspicious, happy, and excellent. So this is my uh, wish and uh, greeting to all of you. <laughs> and uh, um, so today uh, I am very happy uh, to be here on this uh, platform uh, talking about uh, this uh, wonderful uh, subject. Uh, about uh, consciousness, science, and uh, reincarnation. Uh, and uh, mainly, um, my background, um, I was uh, recognized uh, as the reincarnation in my, uh, my society. So uh, I don't know if I am a uh, 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 right candidate <laughs> to think on this uh, uh, reincarnation because uh, I'm already a participant. <laughs> uh, I have already had a blind faith, <laughs> uh, believing in reincarnation. And uh, um, just to uh, let you know a uh, little bit about my background and uh, what study and what uh, uh, I went through. Uh, in the Buddhist uh, study and Buddhist practice. Um, as a young child, uh, I was uh, actually raised in a Tibetan refugee camp. And uh, the facilities uh, in the refugee camps are uh, not really great. And uh, our parents had to uh, work, and uh, we were all the you know, children kind of left behind. Uh, in the room locked, and uh, and we don't have uh, so many uh, uh, what do you call uh, facilities such as uh, these modern days like a computer or books or any even a game like we don't have. And uh, as a young child, uh, I was always a curious child, and uh, my parents were very religious, and uh, they always uh, telling me about uh, reincarnation, uh, like past lives, 
next life. And uh, they always talk about uh, karma, such as uh, you have to be really good. If you, if you do good, then the next life you will get a good life. And uh, if you give money to the uh, you know, poor or the beggars, then you will become rich in your next life. And if you want to have a, a good uh, physical teacher, then you have to discipline. Like, a, like that kind of advice, I've always given to me. And uh, whenever they give that kind of advice to me, I always uh, ask this question to myself, that uh, is there a past life? Is there a future life? And, uh, you know, as a human being, I think we have this curious, what is the beginning, what is the end? And uh, why we are here, from here where we are going? And all this curiosity, and uh, then my grandma was especially a very religious woman, and we have a psychic uh, lady in our society that uh, she said that uh, I was uh, a monk in my past life. And she truly believed that. And uh, while I was growing up, she always uh, used to, uh, you know, buy a clothes only that is uh, maroon and uh, golden and orange. And uh, I used to hate it. <laughs> and uh, she always cut my hair short. And I hate it. <laughs> and uh, uh, she told me to become monk and go to the monastery. And I was like, no way. <laughs> Why should I go to monk and monastery to become a monk? And uh, then, uh, like, uh, as year goes by, when I was uh, 16, then suddenly my life changed. Actually, what happened was uh, I got a letter from His Holiness the Dalai Lama uh, saying that uh, I'm going to uh, officially recognize you as the reincarnation, the fifth reincarnation of Rajuji Lama, which I didn't even know who Rajuji Lama was. So it came as a surprise. <laughs> and uh, I, like, uh, you know, when, when I, uh, like, uh, introduced myself as the reincarnated Lama from Tibet, uh, people always ask me this question, do you remember your past life? <laughs> and I always say, no, I don't remember my past life. And, uh, and also I always say, Maybe I don't want to remember. <laughs> so anyway, uh, then uh, I was recognized as the reincarnation, and uh, it really took time for me to really be comfortable as the person who is the reincarnated of one Lama, who actually I don't know, who I don't even know. But uh, in my society, you know, his holiness the Dalai Lama, he is the like, uh, you know, living Buddha, and if he says something, then maybe I doubt myself, thinking that maybe I didn't know he knows that I was the reincarnation, and then I humbly accepted it, that uh, I'm the reincarnation. And uh, it took the years, really, to be comfortable, thinking that, yes, I am the reincarnation of this specific life. And then uh, I went into the monastery to really understand, to study about the uh, Buddhism, like, uh, you know, the karma and the reincarnation and the philosophy behind everything and all these things. And uh, so I got a really good opportunity to study and uh, really analyze and uh, contemplate on about life and what, who am I, why I am here, is there a beginning of life? Is there an end of life? Is there why? What is the purpose of life? And all these things, which uh, I got a really good opportunity to study there, like uh, ten years in the monastery, and I really appreciate uh, many of the exchange, many of the studies that I went through with the great masters in the monastery, and uh, one thing leads to another, and. Uh, as year goes by, then actually in my, uh, this suspicious mind that I had, and I felt like a slowly, little by little actually, more comfortable.
table uh, on this uh, concept of understanding the previous life and you know past life and next life and all these things. And uh, but uh, really, 